guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what is inside the kids Christmas Eve box. I was actually going to club all of this into their stocking video as well but I felt like I should just split it up a little bit because there's quite a lot to cover in each of them. So if you would like to see what's inside their stocking I will link that below. But this is what's inside their Christmas Eve box which has lots of stuff. So let's just get cracking. Now I know a lot of people might ask me so Ella's Christmas Eve box was actually made by me. I did a video on this last year where I was clearly very nervous filming. So I will link that below to show you how I made it. But it was just basically an empty box that I picked up from Hobbycraft and I just decorated it myself. So inside I'm going to show you the first thing that I've picked up which is no particular order. I've got this which is frozen popcorn. This is in Poundland just now which is obviously a pound but we tend to watch like a Christmas movie together and I thought this would be really nice some just cinema sweet popcorn to all enjoy the night before Christmas. I've also got both of the kids Christmas pyjamas. They're both from River Island and we were kindly sent them so these ones here are Ella's and they're so lovely. They say lazy days and they have got tons of little pink sloths all over them and they've got speech bubbles saying things like nap all day, snooze you lose. I just think these are so nice nice plus they are my favourite colours ever. They're lovely and I also have a pair for Charlie as well and it says grumpy when woken but you know what? Actually not true. Good slogan but not true. Charlie is the happiest baby ever in the morning and they also have these gorgeous little matching tartan bottoms that kind of tie in with the kind of blue tones in the top. So yeah, these are gorgeous, both from River Island, and it's just lovely to have nice new pyjamas on Christmas Eve, I think. That's a tradition in our house. Ella also has these beautiful little fluffy slippers, which are also from River Island. They've got little pom-poms on the side, and I don't have a price on these, so I don't know how much they are, but I will link them for you below, guys, so you can go and check them out. And also for bedtime for Ella, I got her this little electric toothbrush. This is from Poundland, and I also got the frozen toothpaste as well. Not that we need any more toothpaste, but I just thought it'd be something nice to put in our Christmas Christmas Eve box and plus you can always be doing with some anyways so I got these for her and I was in Mamas and Papas having a little look for some Christmas gifts and they gave us a big envelope as we left for all the customers and it's some really nice bits in it so I've actually now just put them in the Christmas Eve box and this card was one of my favourite things and it is an official nice list certificate so it just says in recognition of your good behaviour this year Father Christmas hereby places Ella and Charlie Reid on the nice list so I think that's just so nice to put in the box and we can just keep that every year. It doesn't have a date on it which is great so I'm just going to stick that to the inside of the box for next year as well. We also have some little like Christmas activities as well for colouring in. These are also the mamas and papas ones that we got in that little free letter that they're giving out to everybody this year. And I've got some stickers as well because who doesn't love stickers? Kids just love these. They've got little Father Christmases, they've got reindeers, they've got little fairies on them and they've also got little penguins as well. And another thing that was included in that was this for putting on your Christmas plate and it just says here's a treat for you and here's a carrot for Rudolph and it's a Santa and a Rudolph. You literally just put this on any plate you've got and just put the treats around it which I just thought was so nice. I love the kind of old fashioned drawing on this as well which is lovely. And because we love to watch a Christmas film I've got Peppa Pig's Christmas. I got this one last year and Ella really enjoys it. Everyone loves Peppa Pig much to our dismay. So I've got this one for her and we also have Home Alone which she's watching right now. And what would a Christmas film be without a nice festive hot drink? So I got this which is an absolute bargain. It's Black Forest Gato hot chocolate powder and it's from Poundland. I absolutely love the cost of Black Forest hot chocolates so when I seen this I actually picked up four of them. Two for me, one for my mum and one for my nana because we just love this so much. So yeah we're going to use this this year and I hope it's nice because I've got high expectations for it. And to put our nice hot chocolate in or Santa's drink we've got this festive mug from last year. I love this because he looks like the Coca-Cola Santa. So yeah a nice festive mug. And to put out any of our snacks and to also leave Santa his mince pie and also leave a carrot for Rudolph. I've got this matching plate that matches the mug. I got this in Home Bargains last year along with the mug and they were really inexpensive. They're back this year with the same print so I think these are really gorgeous. And we have some chocolates here as well. So we have some Cadbury milk tray. There's only about six chocolates in it right enough. They're from Poundland and they make a really nice little stocking filler, an extra little gift filler or even some to just have at the side in case someone's bought you a present and you haven't got anything for them. You can just whip these out the cupboard and there we go. <laughs> 
Ella really enjoys drawing and I actually bought this last year but because there's so many pages and she's so young she never actually really got down much so these are some of the amazing bits of artwork from last year which is really nice that we can actually like date the pages and say which year she drew these on so hopefully as the years go on they'll actually get better so this one was from Poundland or Home Bargains I can't remember but it was really inexpensive last year along with that we also have the Snowman's Holiday this book's actually from Poundland last year the Poundland books are great and this was really good for Ella last year but I feel like it's more Charlie's kind of thing this year because it's quite babyish but yeah it's a pop up book it's really lovely and the book that I've got for Ella this year is the Snow Queen I had this last year but we didn't read it just because I feel like it was a little bit older for her so we're going to read this on Christmas Eve which will just be so nice very festive and I think she'll actually understand it this year better than what she did last year again Poundland and it should be £5.99 but I got it obviously for a pound I've also got some of these holographic stickers because again kids love stickers Ella loves stickers she doesn't stick them on pages she tends to stick them on herself or objects or windows but she has lots of fun with them these are from Poundland they've got a few sheets in them and they're also holographic and to do all of her colouring in with I've got this little tin which it says Merry Christmas on the front of it and it's filled with crayons that we use every year at Christmas they're nice and fresh from last year they're hardly used and yeah I just love that little tin to keep them in every year we also have this little personalised bag of magic reindeer food from last year which we're just going to top up this year again and we're going to sprinkle this on the front doorstep it's just got some like oats and stuff inside it which is lovely and I've also got these left over from last year we got a packet of crackers from the pound shop and these ones are left over from last year so we'll just use these again built on crafty bits I thought this was really nice it's a polystyrene snowman and it's from Poundland and you can hear it's got a little bell inside it and the end goal is basically to make this little snowman so there's like pipe cleaners buttons there's the bell there's a little felt hat so she can make her own little snowman which will probably give her a little bit of entertainment for a couple of hours maybe mm. I don't think so, maybe actually 10 minutes. <laughs> and on Christmas Eve we really love to like bake cakes for the next day. So I've got this little kit here which is from Poundland this year. And it's got these little cake toppers on which are really good for Ella to just like stab into the top of the cakes. And it's also got these gorgeous little polka dot cupcake cases as well. But we have these left over from last year and it's the muffin cups. I think these are really good for making big proper chocolate muffins. I'm actually going to get a pre-made cake mix as well. I got a bounty one for making cookies during the week and I'm actually going to get the one that you can make muffins with because it just saves all the hassle you just add an egg add some milk mix it together and it's done so I'm going to use both of these this year and get really cracking on with some of the baking in the kitchen because she just loves helping out and to top all of our cakes and stuff I've got these from last year which are the sprinkles and hundreds and thousands I think these are lovely kind of like test tube sort of vials and yeah they've got a Santa a little elf and then these ones are just the candy canes I got these from Home Bargains last year and they're still going strong. I think we actually only just opened them this year even though we bought them last year so they're fine. But yeah they'll go really good for helping to kind of decorate our biscuits and cakes that we make. So guys I hope you liked seeing what was inside the kids Christmas Eve box this year. Please let me know anything you're putting in your kids Christmas Eve box that I didn't cover. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stick around for more videos in the future. I'd really love to have you stick around. And yeah, I will see you on my next video. Bye!